So I'm having to slouch because I'm too lazy to go set up anywhere else to film and this isn't a whole video of me sat here so don't you worry. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a different video, a spontaneous video, a crazy wild, all things if you have not guessed by the title of this video, hi, hello, we are going to get lip filler today. I think I'm probably just going to get half a mil, um, just sort of shape them a bit more, make them a bit more juicy. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm so sorry I'm on a really squeaky chair. So I am going to Canvas Cosmetics. They do so much, so much beautiful work. Paint me like one of your French girls. So Canvas um, actually work from a lot of different places. I will leave a link to them down below. So yeah, if you are looking to get lip filler and stuff, then definitely make sure that these guys um, are near you. And if they are, then I would definitely book in with them. Cannot recommend enough. They've done my filler and um, I've got so many friends that have been there since and all got theirs done and stuff like that. And they all look Hang out of 10 beautiful they all look absolutely lovely so i would definitely recommend them first things first because i know i'm gonna get all questions about this my head isn't even in frame my earrings girls and boys are from anna luisa i will also link them down below for you guys i'm gonna show you another pair i got in a minute just because um i have been asked a lot of questions about these on social media lots of you guys are struggling to find nice jewelry of good quality and stuff like that earrings i am the biggest holder for earrings i love earrings especially gold ones i don't really wear any silver jewelry often i'm always matching gold just because the buckles on the belts i know this sounds crazy um the buckles on the belts that i wear are gold and i like to match like my earrings my necklace and my belt all gold jewelry i just think it looks beautiful so that's the vibe we are going for so this is the pair i have in right now i will leave the name of them on the screen for you guys to shop so they honestly have so much jewellery on the website, it's so hard to choose from. But if you are a big jewellery lover like me, then make sure to hit the link in the top of the description and go and shop jewellery on that. So I think the prices range from about $49 to much higher end prices, which means they have something for everyone if you are someone that likes to invest in a pair of really, really lovely earrings or if you're looking for something for a present, something like that, there's something there for you. Or if you're just looking for an everyday pair of earrings like these, then I would also recommend them guys to you. I do have another pair which are a really dainty everyday pair which I'll show you in a second and then I also grabbed a more chunky bougie sort of pair for going out and matching up with my outfits and stuff like that but yeah everyone knows that jewellery just makes a whole look shoot up on the paying scale you just look so much better once you've got jewelry in so these are the other two pairs of earrings i got i quickly just wanted to show you these two the ones in my ears are sort of like a mix between both like they're not an everyday pair like this one um but these these ones here are more of a glam pair so yeah these are the other two i grabbed the quality of the metals is honestly amazing as they only use noble metals which means that they are tarnish free and obviously long lasting which is great for like you girls and guys love to wear earrings all the time and you don't want them to obviously wear out and tarnish so i'll leave the names of these two also on the screen up here for you guys if you want to shop these and the link will be in the description down below so make sure you go hit that if you want to shop some new bougie earrings so if you guys are a big jewelry lover like me you'll be glad to know i have a little discount code for you guys if you use eloise m10 you can get 10 percent off your order and i hope you enjoy Please don't be judgmental if you don't like this type of thing then please click that big red x and as this is a q a once i've got them done or in a few days once the swelling has gone down um i will do a little q a <laughs> i will answer the questions for you guys um in a few days when the swelling goes down and stuff like that so yes that's cool
I'm currently in bed. I literally got home, fell asleep, and I've just had some fajitas. But I am so swollen. <laughs> so I got half a meal for any of you guys interested. So once the swelling goes down, we will be all good to rock and roll. Obviously, I'm not worried about the fact that they look ginormous right now because they are going to um, go down. I know I've watched all the videos on YouTube and it, it, they always go down. So yeah, that's why I'm not really stressing about the fact I look like this right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will see you guys in two days or so so I can update you on the swelling and the bruising. So, it is now a whole week later. Um, the swelling lasted a few days, but I would say by like the third or fourth day, they're pretty much how they are now. Um, I have some photos here, which I will share with you, which is like the day after, um, and the day after that, and then from then on, honestly, they were pretty much normal. So, we are now going to go on to the Q&A, like, part of the video. Obviously, some of them are just common sense, like, questions that everybody would want to know if you are going to get stabbed in the lips. Um, but, yeah, I am by no means, like telling you guys that you should go out and get lip filler and stuff like that but this is obviously for the people that are already interested in it and i would like much rather you guys know what you're doing and where you're going so the first question was what made you get lip filler like did you have any specific reason um obviously the reason was i just wanted bigger lips when i first went in february i got a whole mill my bottom lips always been quite plump but my top lip i did definitely want bigger so i think i pretty much got 0.6 in my top lip the first time and 0.4 in my bottom lip so yeah the the simple answer to that one is just because i just wanted more plump lips just bigger lips and obviously it's i'm young it's not permanent so i just thought do it do whatever makes you happy baby so the second one is did it hurt bad i'd say the other day definitely hurt more than the first time i got it done and i pretty sure i'm not sure if this is true but i'm pretty sure they're using a different filler at the moment i'm not sure if that's got anything to do with it or if it's because um i didn't have the numbing cream on for as long because we were talking and obviously you've got time to start and we were talking i don't think i actually had my numbing cream on as long as i did the first time because when i went the first time i went with a friend and obviously she she wanted to go first so I had my numbing cream on for quite a bit longer than I did the other day, so I think that might have something to do with it. But I would never say it hurts, but I could definitely feel it the other day, whereas the first time I literally could not feel it at all. But no, I wouldn't say it hurts. It's definitely worth it. It's, it's more like, um, you can like, obviously feel it. You can feel what's going on, but I don't. I wouldn't say you could like feel the needle. So the next question is, where did you go? I actually went to a place called Canvas Cosmetics. They are honestly the most lovely people. I know that they sort of bounce around. They work. <coughs> oh, I'm trying to film. Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember where I got to with that one, but yeah, I went to Canvas Cosmetics. I know they bounce around quite a lot of different places, so I'd definitely make sure you check out to see if they're like anywhere near you if you are looking to get any sort of filler then drop them a message on there and see if they've got any sort of um locations close to where you're based and then check them guys out for sure so the next question is how much did you have injected so i actually got point about two and a half in my top lip and about point three in my bottom so literally just over half a mil which I personally think is plenty um, for your sort of like second or third or like top ups if you want to call them that. But I would definitely say to get a whole meal your first time. You might look crazy ridiculous after it but honestly once the swelling goes down like they just look normal. Someone also asked do you regret having them done? If I did I wouldn't have gotten them done again. But I guess if they go wrong, you would regret it. But mine haven't gone wrong. I personally, I know I'm probably going to get loads of people watching this video that absolutely hate it. And will make sure that they're, I'm aware that they hate it, without a doubt. But I honestly, I prefer my lips like this, personally. I think they frame my face a lot better. My lipstick works a lot better. I think they just, they just... I guess also it's not something that's perm permanent like if I got them done in February probably by now if I hadn't got them done again they probably would have been gone like it's one of them things that do go like people say oh you're going to ruin your face but like realistically 
if you didn't if you've only got it once in your life like you're not still gonna have it in five years time if you do then something's up you've had like cement put into your face me personally i know this probably isn't the best thing to say but i would say just go for it but just be careful get everything done in small amounts and make sure it's what you really really want done like don't just go there and be like yo i want a new face take my money because you know you could come out and you could be like whoa if it's what you want to do and if you're always thinking about it just go for it like even if you just went in and got like half a meal in your lips or something then do it also i'd recommend going in to see the person that is doing them and if you're not really sure what you want then you probably shouldn't be there obviously but you can go in and speak to them and see what would suit your face best ash the person that does mine honestly is so honest and he is always saying like what would suit me and stuff like that just be careful girls and boys be careful because this is your face and you've only got it once so thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope it was informative enough for you guys if you do have any other questions then just leave them down below and i'll answer them as soon as i can if you're interested in any of the jewelry i've shown you in this video remember to hit the link in the description down below it's just in the top bar for you guys um, if you do shop on Ana Luisa, I do have a 10% discount code for you guys. If you use Eloise M10, then you will receive 10% off your order. So make sure you go and grab yourself some bougie ass earrings like these. If you are new here and this was your first video watching me, please remember to hit subscribe and also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you are all very well and doing okay. And I will see you guys very soon with another video.